Hello students, in this video I will be explaining about edible vaccines. You will be learning what edible vaccines are, how are these produced and how do these provide protection and what are the advantages and disadvantages of edible vaccines. Uh, let's know what a vaccine is before knowing what edible vaccines are. A vaccine is a biological preparation which when introduced into the body of a person it enhances the immunity or immune power and kills the microorganisms that cause disease in the person. Then what is this biological preparation? Biological preparation consists of killed or weakened microorganisms which help in boosting the immunity of the person by killing or destroying the microorganisms and also keeps the record of future encounter. That's about vaccine. Then what is an edible vaccine? A protein is called as a vaccine when it is present in the food. It forms the internal composition of the food or integral part of the food which when consumed the protein which is there in the vaccine in the food which acts as vaccine provides immunity against the microorganisms which cause disease. Therefore, it is called edible vaccine. Edible is consumable, consumable vaccine. So that's about edible vaccine. Then, why edible vaccine? Edible vaccine is because it is simple, it is easy to administer, it is cost effective and it is easy to store and socio-culturally it is acceptable one. And also, it provides mucosal immunity in the individuals, which I'll be explaining in a while. And there are no chances of reuse, there are no chances of uh, uh, lack of sterilization, no misuse, therefore, there, are no, there is no chance of infection. Because of that, the alien vaccines are produced. Now let's know the history of edible vaccines. The production of uh, edible vaccines started in 1990s. Mason et al. in 1992 reported the production, pro production of hepatitis B surface antigen against hepatitis infection, hepatitis B infection and it was produced in tobacco leaves and later on many other edible vaccines were produced against uh, diarrhea, rabies, gastrointestinal infections and so. So this is how edible vaccine production started and other uh, plants which are used include tomato, potato, then watermelon, banana, rice, wheat, carrot and so on. Usually the biotechnologists prefer fruits to produce edible vaccines because these can be eaten raw. Therefore, fruit producing plants are preferred more than the vegetable producing plants. Now, in your syllabus you have about banana and watermelon. Why banana and watermelon? are usually preferred by the biotechnologists. That is because they can be eaten raw. No need of cooking. And you know why? Cooking can destroy or denature the function of the protein, destroy the protein, so it loses its function. The first thing, no need of cooking. And they are inexpensive. And they are grown worldwide. So because of these reasons, banana and watermelon are usually selected for culturing the or producing the edible vaccines. There are disadvantages also because once they ripe, it gets uh, spoiling. Therefore, it is one of the disadvantages. And also, they are uh, like it takes much time to grow the plants. So these are the disadvantages of these plants. So that's about plants. Like how do these edible vaccines are produced in the plants? Uh, I have already dis 
discussed in the previous uh, videos on transgenic plants, there are two methods, vector-based gene transfer method and physical uh, methods, gene transfer methods. Uh, here I will be discussing about agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. I will just briefly tell about agrobacterium mediated gene transfer where the X plants such as leaf discs are selected and they are co-cultured with the ag agrobacterial cells comprising, consisting of uh, the vectors in them having transgene in them and after transfection the leaf discs or the X plants are selected on the antibiotic medium and the transformed leaf discs are induced to develop the shoots and these shoots are then allowed to develop into plants and the fruits uh, that are developed from these plants are used as edible vaccines and for uh, complete details of production of this you can refer transgenic uh, plants videos and next how do these edible vaccines provide protection? You can see the diagram here. This is the initial response. And it is in the small intestine. I told you about the mucosal immunity. Here you can see this is the epithelial lining of the small intestine. And in between there are certain cells. Here you can see it's green cell called as M cell, microfold cell. The function of this microfold cell is to pass the antigens that enter, foreign particles that enter into the uh, gut, into the macrophages. Here you can see, like when a person consumes the fruit, the antigens which are present in it are released here. So these are the antigens from the vaccine that when they come near to the M cell, these M cells pass this to the macrophages, immune cells. Now macrophages, a part of this antigen is uh, like passed to the T cell here. You can see this is the T cell. Now T cell activates B cells, nave B cells. Now B cells get activated and they turn into plasma cells and they start secreting or producing antibodies against these antigens. So this is the initial response when once when a person consumes the fruit and later on when there is infection that is a virus having similar kind of antigen enters into the body same as I told you here M cell helps in providing or uh, passing this antigens viruses to the macrophages so as these antigens they have seen earlier they have encountered earlier these memory T cells help the memory B cells to produce more of antibodies and also some of, the, uh, some, some of them will be converted into cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells here they encounter the infected cells which are there because the viruses would have infected other cells also. So cytotoxic T cells encounters this, uh, the viruses which have uh, infected the cells and antibodies cross the epithelial lining and they start neutralizing the antigens which have entered. So this is how the protection is provided and this is called as mucosal immunity. So that's about protection and now let's know about advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, the edible vaccines. Advantages is it's very easy to administer as I told you that it is consumable one. No need of syringes, no need of injections, no need of needles. And secondly, it is cost effective I told you. And uh, these here as these are produced in the fruits or vegetables, there is no need of isolation and uh, uh, separating the uh, vaccines and purification. So no need of isolation and purification from the plant material as these will be consumed. So these are the advantages of edible vaccines. And next is about uh, disadvantages. There are many disadvantages like it can cause immunotolerance to proteins or peptides. And also it is not safe uh, for the infants and the dosage of this vaccine from fruit to fruit, from generation to generation, from plant to plant may differ. 
and uh, the the stability of the vaccine is uh, uh, would, would be variable and also potato cannot be eaten raw it has to be cooked when it is cooked uh, the protein uh, might get uh, denatured and also the dosage of uh, vaccines would be variable so these are the disadvantages of uh, edible vaccines now about safety aspects we can say that these have to be the uh, plants that produce edible vaccines have to be cultured or grown in greenhouses. If it is taken to nature, it can lead to cross-pollination and contaminate the other plants so that the grazing animals can uh, eat these plants and that could lead to uh, health difficulties in animals. And also it can pollute water if it gets into water or uh, into the air if it gets, again, it can lead to many health complications. So that's about edible vaccines.